Good afternoon all, good evening all. This is Robbo Land. Hello. This is a switch vibracell wild one electric guitar. I've never heard of them either. Look at that grooviness on there. Let me turn it around and it's a pretty cool, interesting shape on the back of the headstock here as well. A little bit, a bit strange, a little bit Fritz Lang. <laughs> um, we come down to the body of the guitar and we see it's all very strange, it's all moulded. That's weird, how have they done that then? Well, you see here, it's all moulded, all nice and shaped and all this, you think that's a lot of work with a saw or something, and you find that actually it's not. This whole guitar, you see it's a set, or it looks like a set neck as such. It's even more than just a set neck. This whole guitar is cast from one solid piece of plastic solid piece of resin. Um, the resin they use is a patented thing they call Vibracell and apparently, apparently it's designed to mimic the acoustic tones of mahogany. Okay. It's a plastic with loads of tiny little air holes in it. It's, it's not a particularly heavy guitar uh, compared to my bloody hell, let your phone Les Paul and the Happy Phone Les Paul is behind me. A damn lot heavier than this thing. So, what we got? Um, originally, it should have had these here control knobs on it, as far as I can tell. These are the ones that came on it, the little Telecaster style ones. I didn't like those because they sat too far above this little thing here so I've replaced them with sort of uh, I've got some Rick and Becker style ones they look a lot nicer. Anyway what we've got on here is we have six string full size uh, I think it's 24 and three quarters scale something like that um, a single pickup at the back which tells you that this guitar is probably designed for thrashing loudly um, and yet we have a switch and so it's uh, let's say it's a coil splitter, um, basically in that position it's nice and twangy, like a single coil, and in that back position it's your humbucker. So effectively what you've got is Tully Caster, Les Paul, Fender, Gibson, Fender, Gibson. So it's your Fender, Gibson switch. That's all you've got on it, one volume, one time. Um, uh, hardtail bridge, uh, six individual saddles, they look alright, they seem alright. Um, clue, no, Grover, set of Grover tuners on the back, so that's quite nice. Um, the neck is incredibly thin, incredibly thin, incredibly fat. It plays absolutely fantastic. A um, couple of quality issues with this, I mean I've got this second hand, I paid uh, £40 for it, four zero, which uh, UK pounds, which is about probably $60, $60, uh, second hand the other week, there's a few scratches on it, there's a few nasty scratches on here, uh, paint's come off, and a few other bits and pieces, but there's nothing major. Uh, mostly pretty pretty as a chip there on the back, you can just see, just there, but that's about, you know, the extent of it. Um, Coming on the headstock, but... Uh, um, a couple of things I don't really like about the guitar, really, the only thing that is the finishing on the frets. Uh, a few of them are not that well banged in. Um, and actually I've just, I've got, I've found two frets on here which are a little high, so I've just got to take those two down and get out there with a, with a file of some sandpaper or something, just take two of those down. I haven't got around to that yet. So, so far I've just, um, uh, just bunged the action up on here. I've adjusted the pickup as well because it's a bit twangy. I've just adjusted the pickup on it as well. I'll do some more of that later. And, um, but that was really it. Was was really the finishing on the frets was the only thing I really let down. So a couple over it. Uh, gonna need, I think we'll need to put some glue in some of these because if you play the treble E string, sometimes you can flick and catch under one of these frets here, which is a bit. There you go. <laughs> so you don't want that happening. Halfway through. Yeah. You're suddenly doing this and nothing's happening because your bloody strings come out. Anyway.
strings um, haven't been replaced yet, so the strings are terrible. Um, but I just wanted to give it a bit of a run through. But sorry, single pickup on the back, not what I'd choose personally. If I was having a single pickup guitar, I'd probably have it bung near the front, warmer tones or whatever. But most of your tones are out of your fingers anyway, so to hell with that. It's quite nice having a quacky sort of telecaster sound, don't you? So rear pickup on the um, Les Paul sort of thing. This isn't really designed to be played clean, I don't think, this style of guitar. You know, single pickup, thrash the bugger out of it, put it through a load of fuzz and distortion, and away you go. But just so you can hear it sounds like clean, this is on the single coil setting, so the fendery style thing. <laughs>
mix out there. This is a bit of plastic. These are buggered old, old, old strings. And plenty of sustainer.
first thing just to be a real orange extreme horrible setting which is